Nakubali Western niongee na sauti moja. Tunawahakikishia ya kwamba Tunawahakikishia kwamba come the next general election we are going to speak with one voice kura yetu itaenda kwa kikapu kimoja na tutahakikisha kwamba uhuru na ruto wamekwenda wapi asante sasa tumkaribishe baba Viongozi hoi. Wa Kenya hoi. Asimeona kama ukumbi imejaa. Na hata wengine ile ukumbi ya nyuma kule vile vile kumejaa. Si hii ni dalili? Hii ni dalili. Kwanza mimi niko na maneno nitasema kwa kimombo. Alafu nitamaliza kwa Kiswahili. Sawa sawa. Tunaelekea kwenye kilele ya hafi ya leo. Let me begin by thanking all of you for traveling from far and wide to attend this historic meeting. We invited you here to discuss the most important element of our politics in the days ahead the question of voting i want to thank all of you who responded to our call at the other time when we said ibc must go and you responded from all corners of the country to show this pleasure with the disgrace IBC. We are also here to emphasize that we are one opposition team with the common dream of liberating Kenyans from the yoke of Jubilee. We have not convened to deploy for mass action as Jubilee had hoped. That remains on our radar, but not in the next 30 days. In a way, therefore, today marks the beginning of the people of Kenya taking their destiny into their own hands in the final bid to preserve our nation. This country was founded on a simple, unwritten, but binding principle that each generation shall rise to right the wrongs of its time. Some of our people have had to endure torture, detentions, assassinations, and stints in exile to bring change to the nation. For this generation, the challenge is to bring change through the ballot. But we can only vote if we register. The last time the IEBC enlisted people before elections in 2013, it went all out to deny our people the chance to register by deploying fewer kits in perceived code areas than the Jubilee strongholds. Another final registration before elections begins in five days' time. We must respond in a way that is commensurate with the stakes at hand. If the last four years is anything to go by, the elections of 2017 will determine whether we remain a viable nation or we go the route of collapse that has stalked much of Africa. 
Kenya has been tested to the limit this last four years. It cannot stand another five years of jubilee. We are therefore gathered here because our country needs all of us to rise to the challenges that are known to all of us. Unprecedented corruption, tribalism that has become official policy, politics that marginalizes communities, all-time high unemployment, rising costs of living, insecurity, mounting debt, and a regime bent on taking us to the past while stealing our future. President Moi said, Sia Sambaya, my Shambaya. We now see Sia Sambaya. We are here to agree to stop Jubilee from ruining our country beyond August 2017. Defeating Jubilee in August is not about the opposition taking power. It is a national duty and a civic responsibility to save Kenya. We are here to make all of us understand that the only enemy we have and our country has is Jubilee. Divided, we shall fall, and the country will continue to suffer. Only our unity shall salvage what remains of our country. We are here because we understand that simple and painful reality. I urge you to follow in our steps and unite. Let us put Kenya first. Infighting and friendly fires will not do. Because as they say, friendly fires also kill. Supremacy battles will not work. Only a firm decision that Jubilee has to let go of our country and our people will work. We will deal, we'll deal with election laws. We promise you that. But you must all go out in every town village, home, church, school, bus stop, every single day and not to rest until everybody you meet is a registered voter to send a mass message to Jubilee that they must go home. It has to be done. It has been done elsewhere. It will be done here. And with your help and the backing of a united opposition. I'm coming from Ghana this morning, where I went to witness the swearing in of the new president, Nana Akufo Addo, who had been rigged two times, and finally, a third time, he won. There are at least four steps that we must execute meticulously to get Jubilee out of our lives. One, we must get all eligible voters to register. There are millions of Kenyans who subscribe to opposition ideals and who are tired of Jubilee but are not registered as voters. Two, we must get our people to take keen interest in the compilation of the voter register and have them inspect the register after registration. Ensuring that the register bears accurate details of all those registered is a duty all of us must take seriously before election day. Three, there must be votes on election day. But as we go now, we want you to adopt a polling station want you to adopt a polling station. Each and every polling station must have a committee. And around that polling station, we must know how many people are living around that area who are not registered. 
and ensure that they're all registered. Three, you must vote on election day. Four, you must protect the vote. It all begins with taking the first step, which is to register. On protection of the vote, we assure you that we will be, we will be equal to the task. I wish to urge all opposition supporters to discard the fears that you believe will steal the August elections. They will not. <laughs> We shall not allow it. We shall make it impossible for anyone to steal the election. But we are also sending word to Jubilee again that the cost of stealing this election will be regrettable. Therefore, don't try it. On this election, in the words of Franklin Roosevelt, and I quote, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself, end quote. We have learned our lessons. We know we are not dealing with the finest of human beings. We are prepared to stop Jubilee on his tracks. Let us focus all our energy on registering our people. We have identity cards waiting to be collected to enable our people to register. You must get them to the owners. Supporters with ID cards have to be made to come out and register as a matter of duty to the country. You must monitor the exercise. Where there are impediments to registration, like the absence of kits and unnecessary registration requirements, this must be recorded and communicated in real time. Each day, you must register the maximum number possible. You must not allow the IEBC to get away with mischief. We appeal to you to be our eyes and our ears on the ground on this exercise. We, in turn, shall continue to be your eyes and ears up here against Jubilee. But we also promise that you shall never walk alone in this exercise. As your leaders, we shall be visiting your areas to give you the push and the guidance that you may need. We are tasking our youth to stand up for our country and our future. I'm reminding our youth that we had a deal that they would move from market to market, house to house, church to church, and school to school to give everyone a voting age to register. It is my hope that the youth will keep the promise they made to me and enter their names into the annals of our country's history. I end by addressing an issue that I know is close to your hearts, the nomination exercise. 